Hello, dear students. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Indraini Katti. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the NEP batch first semester course that is stock market operations. So this is for BCom program, which is called as DSC, discipline specific compulsory course or a core subject it is. So the code of this is 1.3. The title of the paper is stock market operations. Okay, and uh, four credits are assigned for four hours. So weekly you'll be having four hours of period work, okay, workload that is periods. And as all of you know that 60 marks are allotted for semester in the exam and 40 marks are for IA. Okay, so let's come to this. The first, there are totally five units out of which you will get the questions. Unit number one deals with financial markets all about meaning and significance. Money market, capital market, market for debt and equity issues, primary market, IPOs, and seasonal uh, equity is also there, no? Seasonal equity offering is there. So IPO and SEO it is, secondary market and meaning, objectives, functions, and economic importance of stock market, historical background, and how about the management and regulation of stock exchanges in India and the concept of corporatization and demutualization, meaning of this, what are the objectives of this corporatization and demutualization, and what are the major stock exchanges in India, that is NAC, BSC, and OTCEI. Okay, along with this, again, regional stock exchanges in India. So, SEBI, next comes SEBI related information. And what about the establishment part? And what are the objectives and functions of SEBI? And SEBI regulations relating to stock market and future challenges. What are the future challenges of SEBI? Okay. So these are all the parts which are covered in unit one. Second chapter, that is second unit is listing of securities. So meaning of listing of securities, you will have to learn. Next objectives, merits and demerits, listing requirements, to list the shares on the stock exchanges, what are the requirements, what is the procedure, fees, and listing of rights issue, bonus issue, and further issues, how about the procedure of all this, and listing conditions of BSE and NSE, because there are two stock exchanges, BSE and NSE, and what are the conditions in both the stock exchanges, you will have to learn, and delisting, listing is different, and delisting is cancellation of the listed securities on the stock exchange, okay? So delisting and who are the stock brokers, regulation relating there to, and SEBI's role in regulation, stock brokers, powers of SEBI, functions of brokers, general obligations and responsibilities. So all about this is uh, listing and delisting and who are the stock brokers and what are the regulations related to this? which are made by SEBI, what is the role of SEBI in connection with the stock brokers and the listing procedure, okay? And next comes the third unit that is all about trading mechanism on stock exchanges, okay? So Indian stock exchanges, what is the trading mechanism which is followed? So open outcry system, it is the oldest. Now, right now it is not there. Open outcry system and screen-based trading system, both you have to understand. And this, what is the settlement procedure, physical delivery versus dematerialization, rolling settlement, that is T plus two, T plus five, et cetera, and the transaction cost, trading cost, clearing cost, and settlement cost, and buying and selling of shares procedure, what is the procedure to buy and sell the shares, and market order means what, limit order means what, and internet trading, buying on margin and short sale. This is also again very interesting, Barge, buying on margin and short selling, that is short sale, problems relating to margin trading and short selling, and BSC share groups, that is on BSC, Bolt system is adopted, Bombay online trading system is adopted, and what about the NSC market segments? So what are the market segments in NSC also? You'll have to learn in this third module. All these chapters are very important and very interesting also from practical point of view. And next comes, that is unit four here, stock market indices. On this, you will be getting the problems, how to calculate the stock indices, okay? So meaning, 
stock indices means what or index means what purpose and consideration in developing index what are the points to be considered while developing the index and what are the methods and price weighted these are the methods you know price weighted method equal weighted and value weighted uh, and free float market method free float market market capitalization method it is and simple problems relating to index development so here comes the a uh, few problems you will have to solve so that you will get to know what is the mechanism or what is the procedure which is used to calculate the index okay so index development how it is all done stock market indices in india bse stock market index bse index is called as sensex and script selection criteria so what are the criteria taken into consideration while uh, considering the scripts that is shares of different companies and how these are all constructed and other bse indices there are not just the sensex along with sensex there are so many number of sectorial indices are there what are the other bse in indices also we will learn here and nse indices nse nifty 50 we call it as that is nse indices snp cnx nifty and what is the script selection criteria of which is followed in nse also and construction that is calculation part and stock market indices in foreign countries so what are those which are the stock market indices in foreign countries too so that is all about what you know stock market indices and last module which is concerned with risk management and surveillance system. So here you will understand what is the risk in connection with the stock market trading. Okay, so risk management, how are you going to manage the risk, how to manage the risk in trading. So risk management system in BSC and NSC, and what is margins, exposure limits, surveillance system in BSC and NNC, and circuit breakers and value at risk. See all these concepts are you are going to learn and this is very important in the stock market because it is concerned with risk management okay so here the total syllabus comes to an end okay and here what you are going to learn is skill development activities you will have to practically have an approach with the stock market operations how trading takes place right from opening the dmat account what are the forms to be filled what are the documents required to open a, a dmat account you have to visit the brokers offices sub brokers offices and ask or else go through the online material also and try to understand and as well as you will have to open dmat account how it is opened okay so that again uh, the sum of the financial statements some uh, annual reports you will have to go through collect the financial statements of that and analyze the financial statements and the fundamental analysis is going to help you in selection of the scripts of different companies also so that you can make the investments coming to the last part that is reference books what are the books available on this chapter on this subject or course okay so one is Prasanna Chandra, the name of the author, and the subject title, book title is Security Analysis and Portfolio Management. It is publication, okay? Publisher, who is Mac Gravels, is a public a publisher. And Bodhi Kane is there, and P.S. Balaram and Sri Lakshmi is there, Stock Market Operations. She has read, both of them have written Stock Market Operations titled book itself. And this is the list of all the authors as well as the title of the books are there and who are all the publishers. So this also you can go through, but while buying your own copy of book, latest edition books, you will have to use. Otherwise, so many changes take place in day-to-day -day transactions or as connection uh, in connection with the stock market. That's why latest books you will have to purchase and there is availability of a lot of information on the uh, net also, right? You can even re refer the websites, NSC website, BSC website, and NISM also. NISM is also there, which provides you the material, as well as SEBI website you can refer, and so many PDFs you will get, the study material you will get. You can go through the updated information, which is available on the websites, okay? This is all about the information of the syllabus in connection with stock market operations, which is very, very important and which gives you 
a practical exposure in connection with the stock market okay how the operations take place and if you learn practically by going through a lot of uh, materials and experiences and all you will be you will become a good investor in future also right it is a career uh, building course also okay so with this i conclude and in my next content, in my next video, I'm going to cover the part of first unit chapter. Okay, that is introductory chapter, right? Thank you very much. Go through this and ask your friends as well as you become the subscriber. Okay, so subscribe my channel also and uh, ask your other friends who are pursuing this course in another colleges also. Thank you very much.